When we want to accommodate larger molecular geometries, like steric numbers 5 and 6, those happen when you expand octets and when you're operating with elements in row 3 or below in the periodic table. When you're level 3 or below, you have access to d orbitals. So you can hybridize s, p, and d orbitals together to form atomic orbitals that have geometries appropriate for the molecular geometry. So if you have a steric number 5, that's a trigonal bipyramidal shape. That's one, two, three, four, five things I have to accommodate. I need to hybridize together five atomic orbitals. So I hybridize together an S, the three P's, that's four, and one of the D orbitals. And I can take those and make five linear combinations and come up with five equivalent orbitals that point toward the vertices of the trigonal bipyramid. DSP3 hybridization. The orbitals have two bond angles, remember 90 degrees and 120 degrees, and we've seen examples of this, IF3 and PCL5. If you go to steric number 6, now I need six orbitals to accommodate six things. The shape is octahedral. Six orbitals are S, P, 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 D, and D, so I have S, P3D2 hybridization. That kind of hybridization has orbitals, six equivalent ones that point toward the vertices of an octahedron. All the bond angles are 109 degrees. Examples of this, sulfur hexafluoride and xenon tetrafluoride. So larger steric numbers can be accommodated by bringing in d orbitals when octets are expanded.